Hey, insight number four. Uh, welcome to section 76 this week. So we're doing verses. They're out of order of the section, but that's how we're running it this week because it flows into the lesson better. Um, so we're in se- um, verses 51 to 53 for this one and verse 69 because there's some information in there, but we're going to tie those together there. So this is talking about celestial glory. There we go. Celestial glory. Pretty. I like that one. Um, By the way, this is where I'm aiming to live. I would like to live here. If I don't make it, or if I'm, you know, going to do some makeup work, I don't know how that's going to work, and I'm not concerned about it. I'm not focused on my destination. I'm focused on living like this the best I can right now, and my relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's what we're really, the crux of all this is, the baseline to this lesson. So think on that. Right. So, who are celestialites. Who are these people? Um, they are they who received the testimony of Jesus, yep, and believed on his name, were baptized after the manner of his burial. Yep, cool. They keep the commandments and they're washed and cleansed from their sins. They receive the Holy Spirit um, and are ordained and sealed unto his power, which is pretty cool. Um, they are they who overcome by faith and are sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise. Alright, now, this is the good bit. This is really just all of it, really. Okay, 69. These are they who are just men made perfect through Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, who wrought out this perfect atonement through the shedding of his own blood. All of this is possible because of Jesus Christ. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I'm never going to measure up to this, right? Never going to be there. Because I used to think that as a youth. I'm like, I'm never going to get here. This is this is for, like, the most righteous people ever. And it's like, well, actually, no. This is for, very simply, having a relationship with Jesus Christ, giving your best to keep the commandments. We're going to get to that. But what I like about 69, if you take out just men and put your name in, that's really cool. So I'm going to, my name's Lorraine, if you don't know that. Um, So yeah, these are they, like, so this is just, right? This is just Lorraine, made perfect through Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant who wrought out this perfect atonement through the shedding of his own blood. So this is just Lorraine. That's me. I'm just Lorraine. And I'm made perfect through Jesus Christ and his wonderful atonement. And that's what it's about. So if I'm putting an effort to have a relationship with the Savior, and I'm doing the best to keep the commandments and to do whatever it is that Jesus would have me do as best as I understand it, I'm good. And it's that simple. Like you're thinking, oh, it has to be really complicated. It has to be this huge tick list. And I'm going to give you the list. Here's all the things you need to do to get celestial glory. Okay, I'm going to give you this big list. Ready? There you go. That's it. Right there. Jesus. That's it. If you have the best relationship with Jesus, that's all you need. That's it. Because if you've got this, you're going to know what you need to do. You're going to know what service is needed. You're going to know how to treat someone. You're going to know what scriptures to read and how much of it. You're going to know what to give your talk in at church. You're going to know these things because you have that constant good relationship with Jesus. And it's really that easy. Um, Getting the relationship might take some humbling on your part. It might take effort on your part. But it's so cleansingly easy to live like this. It really, really is. The peace and the the goodness that you feel is simply awesome. Um, You know, I I just, I cannot, I don't have words. And that's what the first 10 verses of this chapter are. And some verses that we're going to get into for insight number 5. Just the beautiful, beautiful testimony from Joseph Smith and Sidney Rigdon. And, you know, like, what can I do to have a testimony as strong and as beautiful as Joseph Smith? I mean, it was, you could say it was easy because he saw Christ. It's like, well, yeah, but he had that testimony before that. He already did. And he just built upon it. I don't need to actually see Christ to know that he's real because I see him in so many things. I see his fingerprints on my whole life that he's had influence in. And it's amazing. Um, So... 
What do we learn from celestialites? Went a bit of a tangent there. Anyway, what do we learn from celestialites? So they received Jesus, they believed, they got baptized, they did their honest best at keeping commandments, they've been cleansed of sin, they embraced the Holy Ghost, they put faith over fear. So hard to do that, but I'm working on it. Um, they made perfect through the atonement and they received the exaltation. So we aim to be celestialites. I'm pretty much sure that everybody watching this is going to be aimed to being a celestialite. And we do this by learning to live there in the way we live now. So this is, I'm trying to do this now, right now. Um, and we can have and exhibit celestial behavior now. And I think that's so cool. Uh, Lucy Mack Smith, this is one of my favorite, favorite quotes ever. And I just, I love this because I have friends all around the world. And I don't get to sit with them right now um, and talk to them. I talk to them over the internet and we message and it's fantastic. But... I'm looking forward to the day when we don't have to travel on a plane for 14 hours or whatever it is and just to see my friends and I want to be able to do this with them. So she said, we must cherish one another, watch over one another, comfort one another and gain instruction that we may all sit down in heaven together. And I have so many friends I want to sit with in heaven, whether that's here or somewhere else, I want to sit down with them and just be, just exist. I want to live now so that I have that privilege of doing that. That's what I want to do. I want to be with my friends, my family, uh, you know, and maybe not all my family, to be honest. And that's okay. That's perfectly normal to feel that way. It really is. It's not that I don't love them, but I just don't have the best time hanging out with some of them. They're just not my sort of cup of tea. They're not my vibe. Uh, herbal tea, we'll go with herbal tea, they're just, they're just a different type, you know, um, and I love them very much, but I don't know that I want to live next door to them and spend time with them, but this is the thing that we said back, you know, what President Iring said in Insight Number 2, these family relationships will be worked out, don't worry about it, it's going to be fine, um, so yeah, think on that, but I love that from Lucy Smith. Lucy is Joseph's mother, by the way, in case you're wondering, and so that's that one, that's this. Now we're going to talk about the most important lesson of all of it, okay? And we'll see you there for Insight 5.